Good afternoon everyone, it's Michelle Newton here, the Aussie Angel Lady with you this afternoon, Thursday the 8th of April. Lovely to be here, just dropping in for a possible um, update, which is very, very exciting for the collector's edition of the Angel Rose Oracle. Here's the lovely collector's edition card, so when you, if you have pledged, thank you so much. Hi Kel, if you're going to, there will be a number put on there which tells you which number Oracle out of the 150 that are available is yours. So you can then look up your angel number. Teresa, thank you for your pledge You uh, overnight. That's beautiful, we'll be getting that off overseas for you, darling. Thank you so much for your support. Hi, Melissa, lovely to have you here. So we have only seven days to go. Hi, Angela. Only seven days to go in the possible launch, which is fantastic. It's gone really quite quickly, hasn't it? And we have had so far for oracles, we've had some lovely, generous people just do a pledge, not asking for a reward. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who has done that. I'm so grateful from $1 to last night, a lady pledged $40 and she didn't want a reward. So that's so, so beautiful. Thank you for that. We've had 106 oracles pledged so far out of 150. I think we can do it. Hello, Sally. Um, so we only have 44 collector's editions of the oracle left. So if you want one of these gorgeous collector's editions, I would not wait. I would get on to that and get it done ASAP so you don't miss out. Of course, 44 is the angel's number. So we have 44 oracles left. How beautiful is that? So let's call in our beautiful angels asking for a lovely message from the Angel Rose Oracle, which of course is done. It is dedicated to Saint Therese, the little flower, and Mother Mary, Queen of the Angels, and all the other angels who vibrate highly with the rose um, vibration, which of course is a very high vibration. Hello, Dorothy. Thank you for the hearts, they are gorgeous. Um, sorry, I haven't been able to get on here for the last couple of days. I've been uh, a little bit busy in the shop, so uh, but that's okay. I've been keeping you updated with emails and you know posts. Hello, Colette. Thank you. All those lovely hearts and rainbows and roses and butterflies. Beautiful. Hi, Chris. How are you going? So we're calling in our angels and asking for a lovely message for us today. Colette, hello. Oh, one's jumped out. We have to read that. I'm going to go with this one here. And today we have... These cards are just beautiful. I'll just give you a little look. Look at the gold on the edge. They're just gorgeous. That's the, they say the back, but I call it the front, and this is the back. So everyone's different, of course. Hello, Janet, how are you? Today we have Wise Woman. Isn't that a beautiful card? Let's go to the guidebook now, and we shall read about the Wise Woman card. We just look it up in alphabetical order so that I can read it to you. Here we go. Thank you for the hearts. Please like and share the live and because it could be a message for someone, you know, in your feed that you don't even know needs a really good message today. The angels are sending a wise woman of trustworthy character, a sage or clairvoyant to you, or a set of powerful teachers, teachings written or spoken by an inspirational woman. Oh, there you go. That will bring comfort and clarity. You may be feeling trapped in your present situation and are looking for a way out. Maybe you are unable to see through something that is clouding your life or you are feeling distant and know it's time to do some deep soul searching. The ornate seat invites you to sit down with a woman who has eyes to see into the future with a lens of wisdom. The sage will offer a non-emotional glimpse at the truth and give sound, clear advice and guidance that will bring you awareness, understanding and relief. The over window may also foretell of an unexpected opportunity coming to you, as in when a door closes, a window opens. So isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to read, oh God, you know, Archangel Michael's here too. He's saying, oh, don't let me miss out on the angel roses. Uh, other symbology within this card. The oval window can signify new ideas, light, insight, possibilities, hope, understanding, new beginnings, protection, opinions, perceptions, vision, and awareness. 
The bird cage, you can see that's hanging there, uh, can be significant of the home, security, restrictions, fear or frustration. The pink roses, which are all around that beautiful oval window, signify healing, innocence, first love, silence, purity, ingenuity and enlightenment. There are books down in the corner there, if you see on the floor. They signify knowledge, study, life lessons, wisdom and spiritual awareness. The ornate seat can signify focusing the mind, resting the body, serenity, meditation, a relaxed attitude and daydreaming. So isn't that a beautiful card? So a wise woman is coming in for you today and she has a lot of um, beautiful teachings for you. Let's go now to the wisdom from the Little Flower St. Therese. There's always a little verse on the bottom of in the guidebook for every uh, card. And let me read this to you. I had human angels, fortunately for me, to guide me in the choice of books which, while being entertained, nourished both my heart and my mind. There you go. You might also find a message today in a book. A book might fall off the shelf. You might be, you know, you might be given a book today. For goodness sakes, if you're given a book, you have to read it. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. Please don't give me one this week. I have got time to read. There's always a message in a book if someone gives it to you. So um, you may be a magazine, it could be a newspaper, um, but it's written word and, and that's so easy Let me and so beautiful. Let me just read that wisdom again for you because St. Therese is a very wise um, guide and sage. I had human angels, fortunately for me, to guide me to the choice of books, which while being entertained, nourished both my heart and my mind. So there you go, a wise woman is around you today. It could be me sharing the message, it could be somebody else that um, that you run into, someone else gives you advice, you might ask somebody's advice. This is a beautiful, beautiful card and it's all about a wise woman giving you clarification and um, yeah, some teachings to take note of. So there you go, that's a beautiful card for today. The Wise Woman card has come out for us all. Beautiful, thank you Colette, Brenda, there's been so many people. Oh lovely, I didn't know you could do red roses like that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you, I knew you could do red hearts, but I didn't know you could send red roses. Oh, I'm gonna love them now. That's beautiful, thank you whoever did that. I'm so, so amazed. Um, yes, yeah, so thanks for being here. I'll, I will keep you updated. Seven days to go in the possible launch. And this is an Australian platform, so I've used it before. Very good. I don't handle the money. They do all the money stuff and that sort of thing. And we, I don't receive any funds until after the launch ends, which is the 15th of April. So we've got seven days to go. Um, there is 106 uh, oracles being pledged out of the 150 which leaves us only 44 oracles left in the possible launch, which entitles you to a collector's edition card. Thank you, Angela. Oh, great. Thank you, Janet. Oh, thank you. Um, Janet, that's lovely. Oh, thank you for the roses, Delia. So there you go. So this is very exciting. I would love to manifest that we actually um, get all 150 into my beautiful community's hands. Of course, they'll be available after the launch, but not with this card. I mean, if I know it's only one card, but if you knew how much that card cost to print, goodness gracious me. So I could only do, I did 500 last time. This time the prices have gone through the roof. I could only do 150. So it's special. Yeah, it's the first print run and it's the only 150 getting this card. It's beautiful and you do get a number on it. So it's just a little special way to launch and um, a lovely way to launch too. So thank you to everybody, even if you've only just pledged a dollar, because it's all, I'm so, so grateful, because it's been very tough times in small business, and you all know that I had to pack my center up and move, and I was out of action for months, and we all know what COVID did to everyone, and it's still going for a lot of you, and I send you lots of love and lots of angels to support you, to get through, to make the changes you need to make, because you know that's what COVID's done. 
It's just come in and said, you know what, Michelle, you're not working seven days anymore. This is ridiculous. You need to change your life. And if you don't change your life, well, you're not going to have a business. So I had to make the decision. So COVID's made us do lots and lots of things. So perhaps you've left, perhaps you'd lost a job and then you've had to go and find a job. That happened to my son. Thank you for that red rose. Oh my God, I love them. They look like they're, are they hearts turning into red roses? Oh my God, I'm in love. So, you know, all these sort of things, I know, I can't wait to get it out to you, Janet. Um, happen have just it's just like the universe has just said you know we're not going to tolerate any more of what's not right for you you need to make changes even though if you're happy and things were going well you know COVID come along and just said well you know what there's something better and we want to see you not working seven days a week and you can't do it here so you need to do it somewhere else so and that's what happened so there you go people that's a beautiful card for us for today hi marie lovely to have you here and uh, yes, I'll see you tomorrow, God willing, as my Irish friends would say. Bye-bye. I'll put the link to the possible launch in the comments and in the post, the live description once I get off. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.